Lack of information among members of the public has been attributed to be the main reason for confusion through meets on GMO products among the public. To address the concerns by the Parliamentary Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock, the National Biosafety Authority is set to kick off a countrywide campaign to engage consumers on the GMO products. Our reporter David Kagina is in Naivasha for the 11th Annual Biosafety Conference and has more on this. GMO products have been fronted to be a lasting solution to the evolving climate change effects. With an estimated 6 million Kenyans currently facing starvation, the Kenyan government lifted the 10-year moratorium on GMO in October 2022 to allow for importation of food as a short-term intervention and to use the product to solve the perennial food shortage in the country. The lift sparked public outcry and praise in equal measures from the public and various stakeholders. The Parliamentary Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock attributes the hesitance in the uptake of GMO to lack of information on the subject, hence leaving room for misinformation, myths and misconceptions. GMO is not bad. GMO is just changing the tactics of uh, changing the, uh, the products, so that the, the, the plants. It doesn't matter which one, yeah, maize or whatever, beans, cassava, it's yeah, just changing the tactics. And that's what you, after being a, a part of that presentation, I now have changed my mind. It's on this precinct that the National Biosafety Authority, NBA, has announced a countrywide campaign to engage the Kenyan consumers. NBA CEO Dr. Roy Mogira is seeking that the authority is funded to conduct the campaign that will highly engage parliament and the county governments. We want to have a structured program and we have asked for financial facilitation to be able to develop that either by reviving the BioAware program or even restructuring it so that we can get to the machinani. Professor Richard Odur from Kenyatta University who has done extensive research on biotechnology has termed GMO as fit for consumption adding that most of those who are hesitant have been fed by misinformation. Organizations that have the labs. Odor insists the lift on GMO will expand local research on the subject and give room for groundbreaking inventions through biotechnology. Clearly there is a serious contradiction in this country and that is why if the current government decided that they are lifting the ban, you are giving these people who are graduating from our university's biotechnology opportunity now to set up startups so that they are able to actually implement on what actually they trained on. And this, from where I sit, is a positive thing. Lack of sufficient knowledge on matters GMO has been identified as one of the reasons why there is a slow uptake on GMO in the country. However, public participation and creation awareness have been identified as some of the ways to curb the existing myths and misconceptions on biotechnology. For K24 from Naivasha, I'm David Kagina.